wanted to play an online multiplayer game, such as Apex Legends or FIFA Ultimate Team, but you couldn't get past the opening screen because you're unable to connect to EA servers? The most common error gamers are prompted with is the unable to connect or the you lost your connection to EA servers messages when starting the game, such as the ones below. On other occasions, or depending on the game, you may be prompted with the server timed out message instead. Thus in this video, we aim to show how you can fix when you're unable to connect to EA servers. Method 1. Check the game server status. Occasionally, the issue may not be in your end. Instead, it's the EA servers that are down. It's possible that EA servers are down for maintenance or experiencing technical difficulties. Check the EA website or social media channels to see if there are any updates. At other times, EA servers may be overloaded with tons of users. Especially when it's the launch day for a particular game, or when EA releases new content, such as an event for FIFA Ultimate Team. Hence, the servers can't handle this enormous number of users interacting with it all at once. Nonetheless, fret not, as this is a pretty common occurrence, and the servers are only down temporarily, usually around an hour. Thus, in this scenario, your go-to option would be either to restart the game and reconnect to EA servers a few times. Alternatively, if you're in no hurry, just wait a few hours for EA to fix their servers, or for the servers to free up. Method 2. If you get any notification that your account is already in use, then log out of your EA account from all the devices you use and log in back. If the game is being played on another device with your EA account, then you won't be able to play it. Method 3. Restart your router as well as your gaming console to refresh the connection. Turn off the power of the router and the console. Disconnect the power cables and keep them unplugged for a couple of minutes. Then connect the cables and turn them on. Method 4. If the router is kept far away from your gaming device, it might lead to connection issues and cause this problem. So keep the router near your device and also make sure there is no electronic interference between your DAV and the router. Method 5. The next thing you can try is flushing the DNS and resetting the network settings on your PC. Search for CMD in the Windows search bar and run it as administrator. Type the following commands and press enter. Method 6. Another thing you can try is changing the DNS. Here is how you can do it. Press the Windows plus R keys to open run command. Type nkfa.cpl and press enter to open network connections. Right click on your network connection and open its properties. Click on Internet Protocol version 4 and open its properties. Set the preferred DNS server address to 8.8.8.8. An alternate DNS server address to 8.8.4.4. Save your changes by clicking on the OK. If this does not solve your problem then move on to the next solution. Method 7. The next thing you can try is disabling the proxy server. Enter Internet Options in the search menu and open the top option. Go to the Connections tab and click on LAN Settings. Find and uncheck the box attached to use proxy servers for your LAN option. Click on OK to save the changes. If this video has helped you in figuring this issue, then give us a like and subscribe to our channel.